Hey guys, so uh, today I just have the uh, day off from work, so I wanted to take some time to kind of walk you through what a typical day of being a pest control technician is like. Um, I'll just kind of show you around my truck, show you some paperwork that we use, and um, tell you, walk you through the last day I had, which was uh, Thursday. So here's my truck. It's a uh, 2018 Sierra. I think. Um, so this is my office. Uh, I just have my uh, typical paperwork here. I uh, put some tape over the addresses and phone numbers kind of to keep customers privacy, but typically when I come into the office and get my paperwork, I usually get a map uh, like this. So here are my stops for the day. Not very many, it was just kind of like a half day. Um, but you see your first stops, A, then B, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. Um, that's typically what the map looks like. This is what I use to kind of decide um, who, what, you know, whose house I'm going to next. Um, and then you get some paperwork like this, kind of showing you, um, you know, the address of where it's at so you can look it up. Some notes usually. So it says, you know, this one says call on the way. Um, it's a quarterly service and they're going to pay $75. Um, this one was like $85. Uh, this is like a, this was an apartment complex, which, where it was, um, you know, they got some notes here for that. And some more paperwork at the bottom here just kind of shows how much money I'm making for the company that day. Uh, how many appointments I have, which is eight. And, the, you know, this is just kind of a rounded number of how much I'd be working, but that's never accurate. So being a pest control technician is very, um, the, the work is very different than that of like a construction worker, like a roofer or something, because when we work an eight hour day, we're not really working eight hours. Uh, that time is broken up a lot by driving. So we might go to our first stop uh, and work for 20 minutes. And then we get in our truck and we drive for 20 minutes to the next stop. And we get out, work 20 minutes, get out, drive 20 minutes, and so on and so forth. So by the end of the day, you have about four hours of just driving. Um, and we only do, like, manual labor for, like, four to five hours of the day. It can be really, that you know, that break in between services can be really nice because if you've got a nice truck like this one, um, I drive a Sierra. It has uh, a great sound system, has Bluetooth uh, music. So when I'm driving around all day, I usually listen to audio books or I'm listening to music, uh, I listen to podcasts, and it can be a nice, you get a nice little 20 minute break. It's like a nice, you know, some, a lot of places you work, maybe they'll give you a 15 minute break if after you work like three hours. Well, we get a 15 to 20 minute break every like 20 minutes. So um, being a pest control worker certainly has its perks in that regard. Um, if you need that break to make a phone call to a family member or whatever, you know, you're really on your own all day. There's no, there's no manager like breathing down your neck all day or some superior overseeing your work and making sure you're doing everything right. It's really just you and your truck and, you know, meeting your customers, um, making sure they're happy. And as long as you, you know, you get to your appointments on time, do a good job for the customer, take care of their problems. Um, you, you know, it's a very, uh, freedom based job. Like no one's going to question you. No one's going to uh, make sure you're doing your work. As long as you're making happy customers and they're paying and no one's writing in bad reviews for you, your managers and bosses, they will not bother you at all. Um, you, I mean, I personally hardly even see my managers. Uh, when I come into the office in the morning, I usually just get my paperwork, get whatever chemical I need for the day, and I leave. Uh, it usually takes like 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of the time, times, I don't even see anybody um, sometimes I just need to get a manager to open up the, uh, if I need some chemical, they'll have to open up the chemical shed and I can get my chemical out of there. And I might, you know, give a couple hellos, uh, some small talk here and there. But, um, other than that, you're pretty much on your own all day. So I quickly just wanted to verbally walk through, uh, my day and what I did, uh, as far as service that day, how I did it, um, and how much money I kind of got per service. Uh, so yeah, so I'll just go through this list real quick. So my first stop was a 77 to 9 appointment. I got there at about 8 o'clock in the morning. 
Um, and this was just a regular quarterly service. So basically, and they didn't want, they didn't need anything done inside. It was just sort of a, you just spray the outside, just kind of like a maintenance thing. So every quarter we come out, spray the foundation. That keeps the bugs out of the house. So they weren't having any issues. They just needed that barrier reapplied. So I just went to the house, sprayed the foundation. Um, you know, I took my de-webbing pole, knocked down any uh, spider webs and wasp nests I saw. It is December, it's winter, there's not really any spiders or wasps. So, um, you know, you walk around, but there's really nothing to knock down. Um, so that's all I had to do. It took like 15 minutes. And then I, you know, I gave them the bill and they paid me $75 and I went to my next stop. My next stop was another quarterly service. Um, I got there, it's a nine o'clock appointment. Um, got there, they, same thing. They weren't having any issues. They just needed the outside barrier reapplied. So I sprayed the foundation around the doors, the windows um, on the outside, uh, looked around for any spider webs, and that was it. Another took about 15 minutes. Uh, I got, uh, you know, they paid $85. I keep 20% of each pest service. So 20% uh, of 85 is $17 that I made for myself in like 15 minutes. And the last stop I did for $75, I'd make $15. So, so far I've made $30 two dollars um, and I've only put in about 30 minutes worth of work um, okay so then we're on to the the third stop I got to around nine o'clock um, so I'm doing two services in this stop this is an apartment complex um, their their first one pays hundred and nineteen dollars um, so that's just me you know servicing five of their tenants so I'll go to five apartment um, uh, rooms or units and you know, I'll take care of whatever issues they're having. In this case, there were some tenants who had some cockroach issues, so I just kind of sprayed around the kitchen area, put some cockroach bait out in the kitchen, and um, someone had seen some spiders, so I just kind of sprayed around the baseboards to keep the spiders out. Um, and then someone else was seeing ants, so I sprayed around the kitchen with some ant chemicals to keep the ants out, and that was about it. Um, didn't take very long. Um, the second service this apartment complex wanted me to do was um, they have uh, exterior rodent stations all around their apartment buildings and there's about there's like 80 of them and so basically i just walk around with a big bucket of rodent poison and i'm just filling up those stations uh, with poison making sure they're all clean and um, they all have sufficient amount of poison in them that usually takes me about 45 minutes to walk around all the buildings and make sure everything's filled up and that paid hundred and ninety dollars so between that 190 and you know treating the tenants for 120 that's what three hundred and ten dollars I got for that stop it took me an hour and a half um, so I got 20% which is 60 around sixty two dollars so sixty two dollars for an hour and a half worth of work not too shabby the after the apartment complex uh, went to another quarterly service um, this one just had some notes to replace some glue boards in the garage. So as well as doing the outside spray for them, the de-webbing, I just put some glue traps in the garage. Again, 15 minute job. Um, then I went to another quarterly service, same thing, um, spraying the foundation. Uh, after that, it was a one-time pest service. Um, so they pay a little bit more. They pay $95 if, it's, if they just want a one-time service. And I sprayed the outside for him, uh, but in this case, I rang the doorbell two times, I knocked two times, I called his phone three times, and I sat outside his house for 45 minutes, and he never answered the door. He was inside the whole time. Um, I didn't know that, and so I can't sit there all day. I did, I did everything I could. Rang the bell, knocked on the door, rang his phone a bunch of times, sat there, waited, you know, repeated, and never got an answer, so I drove away, and sometimes you just, you, I mean, you know, if they don't answer the door, then how are you going to treat the inside, right? So I treated the outside and left, and it wasn't until after I left and was out of the area, he had called, finally called me back and said, you know, he was inside and he didn't hear it and he wanted the inside done. So basically, I just told him, we'll get you next week. I'm already out of the area. And so um, we'll just treat the inside of it um, when we come back to work. Um, and then for my last stop, uh, after that, I went to a termite inspection on a basement. So this lady just opened up her uh, basement door around the back, and I checked in her basement 
um, for termites and looked around the outside and in the garage and found no termites. She was good to go. And so then she wrote me a check for $130 after I was done inspecting. And so that's basically a typical day. That's all there was to it. Not a long day. It's kind of like a half day. It is winter. Uh, we don't work nearly as much in the winter because people, you know, aren't calling as much for bugs because there's not as many bugs. But uh, I hope this, this sort of helped you kind of, I, I just kind of want to give you guys a feel for what a typical day is to, uh, to be a pest control technician if you're kind of looking into doing this as a career. Um, not really, I mean, it's a pretty enjoyable job. Uh, nothing to be scared of, nothing too complicated, uh, you, can, you know. So if you're thinking about doing this sort of thing, um, you know, hopefully I helped talk you into it or you got a little more knowledge on what it's like. Um, but yeah, just drop a comment if you have any more questions and I can, I'll answer them. Bye.